Hi Hope Kids and Jam friends and happy Sunday. What is the longest journey you've ever been on? Was it a vacation you took with your family or did you move from one place to another? How did you get there? Today you will hear about a man who left his own country to go on a long journey for Jesus. But why would anyone need to go on a long journey for Jesus? Let's find out what Jesus said right before he went back to heaven. It had been 40 days since Jesus died and rose again. Now it was time for him to go back to heaven. Right before he went to heaven, he, Jesus told his followers to go tell people all over the world about him. In Acts chapter 1, verse 8, it says, But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. After he said these things, they watched as Jesus rose up into the clouds. The very last thing Jesus told his disciples was to go to and tell other people about him. That is why some people today go on journeys for Jesus, to tell people all around the world about him. People who tell others about Jesus are called witnesses, and some people tell others about Jesus as their job. We call these people missionaries. Jesus knew these, his followers needed help telling others about him after he went back to heaven. God sent his Holy Spirit to live in them and give them power and boldness to tell others. Boldness is overcoming fear and doing what is right with courage. The Holy Spirit helped Jesus' his followers to be bold in telling others about him. At first, his followers preached to the people in Jerusalem where they lived. More and more people believed and became part of the church. When the Bible talks about the church, it is not talking about a building. The church is God's family. All the people who believe on Jesus and follow him. When people in Jerusalem heard um, the preachings about Jesus, thousands of them became part of the church. The religious leaders, the very same people who demanded Jesus to be killed, were doing all they could to stop his followers from preaching about Jesus. One of those leaders was named Saul. He thought he was doing God's work by stopping those who believed on Jesus, but is that what God wanted him to do? No, Saul wanted to throw the believers in jail and even kill them. But God had a better plan for Saul's life. One day, Saul was on his way to a city called Damascus, where he was going to arrest some of the followers of Jesus. But while he was traveling, something extraordinary happened. Let's listen to what that was. This is Gabriel Kim from Hope Kids TV, reporting to you live from Damascus. I'm here with a man who journeyed here with Saul himself. Thank you so much for being here today. Would you please tell us what happened when you were on the road with Mr. Saul? It was the strangest thing. I was traveling to Damascus with Saul and some other men. Saul was excited because he had permission from the leaders to arrest people who were there with Jesus. He thought he was pleasing God by hurting these people. Anyway, we were traveling on the road when all of a sudden a bright light appeared. It was brighter than anything I had seen before. It was so bright we all fell to the ground then we heard a voice. We didn't understand it, but Saul knew the voice belonged to Jesus. But didn't this happen after Jesus went back to heaven? You're right, it did. That's why it was so strange. The light disappeared and we all got up again. The rest of us were okay, but Saul was blind. We had to lead him by the hand to Damascus. After the light and the voices, Saul stopped eating for three whole days. Then one of the followers of Jesus named Ananias went to the place where Saul was staying. Ananias had, t had courage and was bold. Saul's original plan was to throw people who followed Jesus, like Ananias, into jail. Ananias prayed for Saul, and it looked like fish scales fell off Saul's eyes. He could see again. Saul believed that he became a Jesus follower too. The excitement he had about arresting followers of Jesus was reversed, and now he's excited to tell others about Jesus. That's amazing. Thank you for sharing with us. You're welcome. Well, there you have it, folks. Blinding light, a voice from heaven, and fish scales. It looks like Saul is a changed man. I'm Gabriel with Hope Kids TV. Have a great afternoon. Wow! When Saul met Jesus on the road, his life was completely changed. God's power is so amazing. 
The men with Saul didn't know what Jesus said to Saul, but we can look in the Bible to find out. In Acts chapter 9, verses 4 and 5, it says, Saul fell to the ground and he heard a voice say to him, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? Who are you? Saul asked. I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting, he replied. Now get up and go into the city and you will be told what you must do. That was Jesus speaking to Saul. After, uh, before Saul was killing and arresting Christians, but now he listened to Jesus and became a Christian himself. Jesus completely changed Saul's life. Jesus can change your life too. To find out the rest of the story of Saul and how he became Paul, the apostle, and about his friend Barnabas, go ahead and go to the church website and watch part two of this week's sermon message and check out the rest of the materials and resources on the slides.